Welcome to this discussion on word problems and linear equations. Before we get into solving these problems, let us try to understand what do you mean by word problems and what do you mean by linear equations. To understand this, let me give you an example. Let us say, I went to my sister's house with a box of chocolates. The box contained 100 chocolates in it. I gave the box to my niece. Who is my niece? The niece is my sister's daughter. I gave it to her. On the first day, she ate some chocolates from this box. On the second day, she ate twice the number of chocolates that she ate on the first day. On the third day, she ate thrice the number of chocolates that she ate on the second day. After three days, she has 10 chocolates remaining in the box. The question is, how many chocolates did she eat on the second day? This is a typical word problem. Now let us look at what do you mean by linear equation. In order to solve this word problem, we use the help of mathematics, especially algebra. In algebra, what we do is, we represent the unknown quantity using some variable. It can be termed as A, B, X, etc. In a typical equation, when I say equation, a relationship connected using the equal to symbol is called an equation. In a linear equation, what happens is, the power of the unknown variable will be 1. For example, it will be something like 2x plus 3 is x minus 2 and so on. In contrast, a quadratic equation will have something like x squared equals 2x minus 3. Here, the highest power of the unknown variable is 2, whereas in a linear equation, the highest power of the unknown variable will be 1. In simple linear equation problems, we will have only one variable to work with. In a little more difficult one, we might have multiple variables to work with. Now let us try to see how to solve this problem using linear equation. I will just go through this question once again. I went to my sister's house with a box of chocolates containing 100 chocolates in that. I gave the box to my niece. She ate some chocolates from the box on the first day. On the second day, she ate twice the number of chocolates that she ate on the first day. On the third day, she ate thrice the number of chocolates that she ate on the second day. At the end of three days, the number of chocolates remaining in the box was 10. How many chocolates did she eat on the second day? That is the question. Let us see how we solve this using linear equation. Now we don't know how many chocolates she ate on the first day. So typically, we will take that as x. We represent that unknown with the variable x. Then the number of chocolates that she ate on the second day will be 2x, 2 times x. First day she ate x chocolates. Second day she ate 2x chocolates. On the third day she ate to thrice the number of chocolates that she ate on the second day. So it will be 3 times 2x which is 6x. So the total number of chocolates that she ate on the first day plus second day plus third day would be x plus 2x plus 6x. After this she has 10 chocolates remaining and the total number of chocolates that were stirred in the box is 100. So we can connect all these using an equation like this. The number of chocolates that she ate on the first day added to the number of chocolates that she ate on the second day plus the number of chocolates that she ate on the third day added to 
the remaining chocolates 10 should be equal to the total number of chocolates in the box 100. So we have 9x plus 10 equals 100 or 9x equals 90, x equals 10. Don't mark your answer as 10 because the question asks you to find how many chocolates did she eat on the second day. She ate 2x chocolates on the second day. So the answer is 2 into 10, 20. Now this was a situation where we used a single variable approach to solve this problem. And let me give you an example where we have two variable linear equation. Let us slightly modify the situation. I went to my sister's house with the box of chocolates. My sister has two children, one boy and a girl. I gave the box of chocolate to them and within no time they finished the chocolates. Now it is known that three times the number of chocolates that the girl ate added to two times the number of chocolates that the boy ate is equal to 70. Three times the number of chocolates that the boy ate added to twice the number of chocolates that the girl ate is equal to 50. Now the question is how many chocolates were there in the box? Now let us try to represent this situation using an equation. How many chocolates were there in the box? That is the question. The question is three times the number of chocolates that the boy ate added to twice the number of chocolates that the girl ate that the boy ate plus the number of chocolates that the girl ate. So our answer will be B plus G. Let us try to solve this. An easy method to solve this would be to bring the coefficient of one of these variables to be the same value. What we can do is we can multiply this with 2 and this with 3. So what happens? 3b plus 2g equal to 50. Multiply that with 2. So we have 6g, sorry, 6b plus 4g equals 100. 6b plus 9g equals 210. Now we have two equations in which the coefficient of this variable b is the same. Now we can simply subtract one equation from the other and eliminate that variable b. If you subtract this from this, we get 9g minus 4g which is 5g equals 210 minus 100 which is 110. From this we get the value of g as 22. That is, the number of chocolates that the girl ate is 22. Now, if I substitute that in one of these equations, let us say I substitute that in this equation, then let's see what happens. 2b 
plus 3 into g, we have got the value of g as 22, this should be 70. That is 2b is 70 minus 66 or 4, that is b should be 2. So the number of chocolates that the boy A is 2 and the number of chocolates that the girl A is 22. So the answer to this question will be B plus G which is 2 plus 22 or 24. Total number of chocolates that were there in the that was there in the box is 24. Now in this discussion we look at two situations where we used a linear equation to solve a word problem. In the first question, we had a single variable linear equation and in the second problem, we had two variable linear equation. When you get a typical word problem, the first thing that you should do is, you should understand the situation and try to express that in terms of algebraic expression. In this discussion, we saw two types of problems, one in which we have a single variable linear equation and another in which we have two variable linear equation. When you solve these word problems, the first thing that you should do is to understand the situation clearly. Then only comes how to frame the equation. There is no substitute for this understanding. With practice, you will be able to solve more and more complicated word problems. Thank you.